Hello fellow engineers and welcome back to Kerbal Space Program 2. Ah, uh, there's a Kerbal float bar. See you later, mate. See ya. So yeah, we're back in this game, not because they've just released the science update, but because I was watching a this viral video about oh, an aircraft concept called an oblique wing. And you know, in this game, I like to test little things like that. I tried the ring wing, which actually works surprisingly well. But today I wanted to try the oblique wing out to see if, if Kerbal Space Program 2 actually allows you to build it properly. And whether it does actually work as the video claimed it does. So, so we're back in the Kerbal hangar and we're going to be, we're going to be trying out these principles. So basically what I learned in that video is the aerodynamics of a, of a plane that goes less than the speed of sound is very different to one that goes faster than the speed of sound. We'll start slow and we'll just confirm that everything is all good. So we'll grab a cockpit like that, we'll then grab some methane fuel tanks, shove an engine on the back. And then basically I learned if you, if you want a plane to fly, at like low speeds you need big long wings so if we just mess with the wing shape we can make the span nice and wide and then keep the angle nice and straight so basically that sort of wing is meant to be really good at a at like sort of low speeds well between takeoff and like the speed of sound after that point your wing angle should be doing like more like that so i think what we'll do we'll literally make the exact same plane but we'll just change the wing angle next time yeah and we'll see if the speed is affected like when we or hopefully if we get over the sound barrier anyway we now just need some wheels so a little wheel at the front these ones at the side then we just need to make sure our center of mass and center of of lift is yeah that looks pretty good i think oh i do just need i do just need a an air intake for my engine so let's just shove those on there decent okay so we'll launch this and then we'll see what sort of speed it gets up to i'm hoping we can get like sound barrier sort of level if not i may add like more more engines and stuff but oh <laughs> um i i just pulled up and my my tail hit the ground which means my my engine blew off so <laughs> We're not quite getting to speed this time. Maybe I should have listened to this person. All right, take two. Trying to keep, yes, my engine away from the ground. There we go. <laughs> so we're in the air. I've just got to put these, put the wheels away. There we go. Oh, why did that make it wobble so much? Why is it wobbling so much? Hang on, let me turn off. Let me turn off SAS. SAS is not happy. That's the stability control thing. But right, okay. So we're cruising at like... 380. Oh, we're still going up actually. In fact, to make this a fairer test, I will go I will go a little bit higher where the air's thinner, so we should go faster. And meters per second, the sound the sound barrier that we're aiming for is well, it's 343 meters a second. So there should have been a sonic boom. I guess they still haven't added that to the game. Just to keep it a fair test. We'll try and cruise at like 5,000 meters. So yeah, right about 5,000 meters. Speed is still going up. 800 meters a second. Oh wow, look, you can see, you can see the flames. That is how fast we are going. This is a fast engine, blimmin' out. Um, oh yeah, so they added heat to the game since the last blade. That's cool. Um, we are over a thousand meters a second now. <laughs> I was not expecting this to go so quick. I may need to put like a slower engine on because yeah, that speed is ridiculous. It's still going up. All right, let me try a slower engine. So the one I had on was this. It was called the Whiplash to be fair, but that produces 130 kilonewtons of thrust. So let's just try the Panther. That should be a little bit slower. Uh, and I might try and give myself some bigger wheels as well. Just because if I got bigger wheels, then it means my, my engine at the back is less likely to uh, explode when I try and pull up. Anyway, right. Take two. Let's pull up. Get the old wheels up. This engine is a lot slower. I tell you that. <laughs> but yeah, we'll go up to 5,000 meter altitude again. Oh man, it's taking a lot longer to get there this time. <laughs> This engine's so much slower. In fact, let's just do this test at 2,000 meters. I can't be bothered to wait. So we're at about 2,000 meters. We're cruising at about 190 meters a second. So we're below the speed of sound, which is 343. These wings are ideal because we took off pretty easily. So let's go see if we if we change our wings to be like more pointy backwards. Will we go faster than we did? Now, it's important to note when we start messing with these angles, that is going to change our our center of pressure like our center of lift so as we as we grab that and change the angle look at the center of lift as i let go you can see it's now all the way back there which is not ideal when your center of mass is still at the front yeah so i will have to try and move these forwards a bit just to try and make it work i mean 
<laughs> it's not great. To be fair, though, although I haven't changed the wing span, the span's actually measured. Like, it's measured perpendicular, whereas because we've angled it, it's kept the span as that perpendicular width. If we were to do a bit of trigonometry, the span has changed from the opposite length of the triangle to the hypotenuse. So to be fair... Uh, to be fair. To be fair. Well, to be fair. To be fair, I should probably reduce the span so it, like, do this with my mouse. Yeah, so it probably stops about, like, there where my mouse is. So if I just go whoop, down to there, I think that's pretty much the same length as they were before. Okay, so we'll try and launch this. Now, this is going to be... Well, this should be not as easy to take off, um, like... Draw, well, draw and take off. Because the wing is that angle, it produces much less lift, apparently. Now, whether it actually does in this game. Oh, yeah, it does. Look, I'm trying to pull up and we can't actually pull up because it is producing way less lift. So if I... Come on, keep pulling. Oh, man, we're going to need some proper speed. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We're shaking all over the place. That's it. Keep it straight. Keep it straight. Come on, Matt. You got this. Right. Pull up. Pull up. Oh, no, we didn't pull up. Okay, let's try the other runway. Good idea. Good idea. All right, we're on the other runway. Oh, we've taken off. We've taken off. Yes. All right, get the wheels away. Get the wheels away. Slightly lean left. You can see I'm trying to pull up my hardest. Uh, we are really, really struggling. But as this gets faster, particularly if we go over the sound barrier, then this should be a much, much faster plane. Um, it's just a case of can we get up to the same altitude we were. Yeah, altitude is still rising, so we're good. Uh, we just might have to be patient uh, and hope we don't run out of fuel, I guess. Anyway, we're up to 2,000 meter altitude. I'll just level out now. And then, oh, we're in the clouds. We are in the clouds. Oh, we're below the clouds because this thing just nosedives if you're not pulling back. Oh, no. <laughs> How do I pull up? Oh, no. Altitude is dropping. I literally can't pull up. I'm trying to pull up. Like, look at my engine. It's pointing upwards. Um, I will say, though, speed, 317 meters a second. So we're getting close. Oh, I think, actually, are we about to pull up? Altitude still dropping. I think it's about to go back up though. 762. Yes. Okay. We're going back up again. Thank goodness. But yeah, surface speed, 310-ish meters a second. So already way quicker. And all I've done, remember, is change the angle of the wings. Now, in modern planes, this is like, this is how we do our, this is how we do our supersonic planes. Because as I've proved, it is faster when you, when you get to like higher speeds. Taking off, which, oh, wait, oh, we've, we've flown miles. I can't even see where we took off from. But taking off, absolutely terrible. Produces really low lift. But once we get some speed up, this goes way faster. It has way less drag. Um, and that's where the oblique wing comes in. Apparently, symmetry is not the way. Despite all of our planes and all of nature, everything being symmetrical, if this wing here were to tilt forwards, although it looks really... It's going to look bad. Apparently, it produces way less drag and therefore can go way, way faster. Um, so let's, let's go build that. I think for now, we can say this travels at about 310 meters a second. Um, handles absolutely appallingly. But we'll get back into, into this place. And I will turn on the, the center of pressure and mass again. Um, and I need to turn off symmetry mode. So as I, as I click this wing... Oops, I just took it off. <laughs> as I click that button of this wing, I'm hoping I can move this wing without affecting that wing. Oh, no, it changes both of them. Oh, no, even though symmetry's not on. Oh, don't say I can't even do it. We had a wing angle of 24, so I wanted to go like forwards to would 76 be the opposite i think so and what if i attach this oh yeah okay that's how you do it so you've just gotta you just gotta attach the wings non-symmetrically okay so we grab another wing we shove it on this side and then on this one we make that angle 76 and then change that to 70 Okay, so that is the oblique wing. What this offers, because the because the center of lift doesn't doesn't change, it allows you to be able to go from a wing that was straight. If if you like hinge the wing in the middle, you'd be able to rotate it so you end up at this oblique wing when you get to like those higher speeds. Because if you did it the other way, if you had like your straight wing and then you tried to like point them both back, that center of lift would move, and therefore your plane would like really really change how the handling works and stuff. But that's not the only reason for. for for doing the oblique ring. Apparently, this works better in terms of aerodynamics. So once I get another wheel in place like that, this should potentially have a lot less drag. Uh, honestly, not a clue why. To me, it looks like as you try and take this thing off, it should just like corkscrew. But uh, I guess we'll see what happens in Kerbal Space Program. So we probably want to actually call this the oblique wing. So we are on the runway. We... <laughs> 
<laughs> it looks bizarre. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, we will we'll fire her up. A completely asymmetrical plane. Oh, wow. It's really, it's really pulling to the right. So we'll try and go left. And hopefully we will be able to take off. Oh, we've, we've taken off straight away. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Oh, no. That was problematic. <laughs> Still, we go again. We <laughs> I feel like it's doing what I thought it would do, but what this documentary told me it wouldn't do. Like, it's going mental. What's it doing? Ah. I'll tell you what, I'm going to turn off SAS. I feel like SAS doesn't always help. Like, when you're trying, like, these weird, weird sort of concepts, it doesn't understand. So if we stick with this one, then that might fly a bit better. No, it is corkscrewing. That's literally what I expected it to do. Was I lied to by a viral YouTube video? I don't know. I'm going to keep trying though. Oh my goodness. Come on, pull up. How do I pull up? I don't know how to pull up on this thing. Actually, let me just check before I actually go anywhere. Let me just check how the... Oh, that's why. When I pull down, I guess because the wings weren't symmetrical. When I like press S to pull up, the wings are going in different, like, opposite directions. Revert to the VAB. So this wing here, there's something wrong with it. I need to... I need to... Yes, invert controls or advanced controls. No, I think just, just invert. Okay, so now if I pull up... Yes, they both go up. If I pull forward... Okay, right. I think we're actually good now. I'm going to try and take off with SAS on. But again, I think SAS might just... Well, it might just send me into the ground. But we're picking up speed. We're staying reasonably straight. If I try and pull up now... Put the wheels away. Oh, it's flying. It's actually flying. It's flying. Oh, look at it. It's beautiful. Okay, so again, with this being a supersonic plane, we got to get up to speed, which means we need to get up to height, really. So let's try and get upwards. I am going to turn SAS off. Can you see it's like it's moving like everywhere? I think that's because SAS. So yeah, with SAS off, this is actually flying way better. I mean, look at it. <laughs> <laughs> right, so we're at that 2,000 meter altitude. We, oh, we do keep rotating left. It might just be because I haven't built this very symmetrically. So I may actually need SAS on just to try and keep me sort of stable. But right, okay, we're at altitude. We're somewhat stable. Let's see what speed we can get up to. I will say though, not going as fast as the, as the symmetrical version. But is that just because this was designed to have less drag in, in like supersonic situations? So over 343 meters a second so perhaps we should go and add the add the faster engine on and then do a proper comparison shall we give that a go i think we should because all we've really proven is that this plane is not as stable and not as fast <laughs> It's not looking good for the oblique wing. So let's get rid of that engine. Let's wang the whiplash back on. Right, and then we'll start off with the with the OG, the symmetrical plane, but with the fast engine. So push, take off. I, mean, I can make it way faster by doing that. Oh my goodness, it's really fast now. But yeah, still very much struggling to take off. Oh, there it goes. Oh no, the wing came off. The wing came off. Um, um, <laughs> sorry, Bob. So yeah, Bob did not appreciate that. Oh my goodness, we are going the wrong way. Oh, but I took off. Sweet. All right, anyway, this time we have we've got into into the air. We're going oh, we're going so fast. So I guess I want to get to a nice cruising altitude. I mean, man, this thing is going for it. Now, with this extra speed, I don't need to pull up anymore. This thing does just fly. But yeah, I'm sort of going so fast that the curvature of the earth is making it hard to like stay at like a lower altitude. But oh my god, oh it is shaking. It is violently shaking. Let's turn SAS off. There we go. That's better. That is better. It's so sensitive. But right, I'll tell you what, we'll go to the 5,000 that we did the very, very first run. And you can see speed is actually way faster. So we've definitely proven that these triangular wings, they're better at supersonic speeds. It's actually, it's quite hard to stay at like a certain altitude. But I think, yeah, 1,270 is sort of where we're at. Although look, we've just got 1,350, even though we've dropped altitude. I think that's probably because we're like losing fuel now. The lighter we get, the faster we will go. But yeah, I think that's the max that this can go pretty much oh we've actually got some some heat damage at the front you're right in there bob it's not too warm is it <laughs> they've added friction now but anyway let's go try the oblique wing out and we'll see how that compares all right so here we are on the runway <laughs> i'm hoping with a faster engine we should be able to get up quicker oh yeah this thing it does actually it flies so much better than the symmetrical one definitely not as stable though and it does seem to always want to rotate left you can see it sort of 
it's always going to the left. I've got SAS on, hence the juddering. By the way, this sort of like wing position, it reminds me of like Superman. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe that's why Superman was so fast. He took advantage of the oblique wing. Anyway, right, we've gone a little bit high, so I'm just trying to level out, go a little bit closer to that 5,000 meter altitude. Speed, we are sort of ripping. We are aiming down, though. Let me try and level out now. Right, okay, so this thing is sort of going for it now. We're around 1,000 meters a second. It is actually flying really, really stably. So we're on 1,100 now. I feel like the symmetrical version was actually actually quicker and it is just bizarre to see like an asymmetrical plane <laughs> it is cool it is cool it's very much on fire as well so it's literally it's not cool but yeah the speed unfortunately it's not going to crack 1300 i don't think not without going way higher we're at similar fuel levels we're going a little bit too high now so i need to drop down and as i drop down we lose a lot of speed so yeah unfortunately i don't think ksp agrees with the with the viral video i watched oh, although although 1327 oh it's slowing down it's slowing down it's not going to get over the 1350 although we do have the warning symbol in there again don't we bob so yeah i think whilst youtube video and apparently physics if you believe what was in the video says this should be better kerbal space program says no it's not Dick with a symmetrical plane. And um, by the way, if you do want to check out that um, that video, I will link it in the description because it is a very cool video. Right, so slight success, slight failure. Not sure how to look at this one. Uh, what I do want to do though, if I just move that back, I do want to try and push this to the extreme. So I'm thinking a little bit more fuel and then in adapters, what I'm thinking. Yeah, can I shove one of these on the back? Yes, yes. So we got four times the the engines on the back, which means I needed four times the fuel, which means I'm probably going to need more lift. So if I were to just move those wings forward a bit, we actually maybe want to do it like that. So it's like a straight through that way. But yeah, then I want to make these wings a little bit bigger. So what I'm thinking, bigger span, steeper angle. Thicker. So then do the same to this side. And then I probably want bigger wheels again so i'll shove the medium one at the front get some large ones on the actual wings right and then we'll <laughs> and then we'll see all this works right okay engines on oh no why wait why does only one work why is the other engines not working hang on hang on a sec oh it's because they're on different phase oh i forgot about all this phasing stuff oh no this time a plane a plane fell over it's not stable enough i guess that's one negative with having with starting off like that i mean usually as i said before you would probably have these wings on a hinge so it starts off like that so you've got an easy takeoff and then your wheels are spread evenly the wheel layout is not the best like this maybe if i just move the wheels just move them out a little bit also i probably want to increase the amount of airflow i have so if i add my air on there and then add some extra ones there that should be fine okay so annoyingly moving the wing hasn't helped but hopefully a little bit of a little bit of thrust should get us moving don't know why that engine stopped working oh i know why that one stopped working <laughs> anyway we'll pull up and oh this thing is actually this thing flew like an oh no the wing came off no <laughs> Well, now we're really asymmetrical. This isn't oblique. This is just... I don't know what this is. I right, get the wheels back out. Maybe I can still land it. I can't still land it. Right, maybe my big wings gave me too much lift. What I'm thinking, though, struts. If I know anything about this game, it's that you've just got to strut it and it'll be fine. Right, I've also added two little wheels to the back. So now we should actually be okay. Oh, this thing is stable. Right, let's pull up. Oh, pulling up does nothing. Oh, dear. All right, we've got on the grass. We're trying the other runway out. Right, here we go. That's better. That's better. Oh, I don't know what happened there. All right, okay, okay, we're good. We're good. We are up. All right, no wings are falling off. <laughs> this is way more of a success. Let's put the wheels away. Right, and oh, what? The engines fell off. Oh, it was overheated. All right, well, I guess that's the end of the oblique wing. I. I thought it was going to be a success. It started off so well. But uh, we did learn a little something about aerodynamics today. And we, we also learned that asymmetrical planes can be stable. Like, look how smoothly this is falling to, to Bob's death. Isn't it? Isn't it quite relaxing to watch? Anyway, for now, I guess we'll say peace, love, and oblique wings. Me and Bob, we'll catch you next time. Or maybe not, Bob. Bye!